episode is sponsored by ASI3 Auctions. From large on-site commercial liquidations to individual pieces, ASI3 offers a variety of liquidation and auction methods. Previously on School Bus Diaries... Oh, my wedding band! The one with the ring on it? Yes, it was my late husband's wedding band. Did you leave it at home? No, I wouldn't have done that. I wear it around my neck all the time and I reach for it when I want to remember him. Don't worry, we'll find it. As you know, Mama Bev has lost the wedding band of the late Mr. Mama Bev that she always wear on a chain around her neck. So we need to buy a replacement for her. Max and Alexandra have started a band. Maybe we could have a benefit concert. What about a benefit variety show? So, so far. So let me tell you a funny story I heard. <laughs> you said he was a professional comedian. Yep, he's the star of a new TV show, Ain't That White Tiana. Mel, what did she do this time? So once he figured them all out, he would start shouting in the middle of the crowd saying, Rah, Look, it's not the same hat. Rah, look, he's hiding the flowers under the table. Rah, hey, why are all the cars the same as the Ace of Spades? And the magician was so furious, but what could he do? I mean, it was the captain's parrot after all. So one day, the ship had gotten to an accident and sank. And the magician found himself on a piece of wood in the middle of the ocean. And guess who was right by his side? Yup, the captain's parrot. They would stare at each other with so much hate, but never uttered a single word to one another. And they did this for several days. And after about a week, the parrot finally said, Okay, I give up. What'd you do with the boat? <laughs> Such a classic. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and move into our next act. Let's welcome the amazing Joey, the Magnificent! Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Can you please help me welcome my beautiful assistant? for this show, I'll be attempting a death-defying stunt that I've never done before without a lot of blood. You promised me I would get to sing. You will, my dear, you will. Now if my assistant would please get into the box. I can't sing inside a box. Get it. I'll make you sing, all right? wedding band and we know how much it meant to you so all of us on the bus emptied our pockets to buy you a new one and a new chain to put it on oh so sweet your mom has been looking at this beautiful how much is it only 35,000 
I think she wanted it for a special occasion. Honey, when my mother goes jewelry shopping, it's always a special occasion. Come on, let's pick one out. Okay. Yeah. Hi, girls. What brings you in to see us today? Those. Can I see those three? Sure, let me get them out of the case for you. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Let me see. This is our best necklace in the entire showroom. You can't afford the rocks in that driveway, much less the ones in that case. They don't charge a girl for wishful thinking. Wait, do they? I like this one. Are you sure you girls can afford these necklaces? Oh, absolutely. We're with her. Oh, your parents must be clients of ours then. What's the last name? Uh, 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 well... Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. It's okay, I'll get it, I'll get it, don't worry. that necklace in her bag. No. Do it. No. You can forget about joining this group. You're getting off easy. I had to steal a blind man's cane while he was using it to cross a busy street. So do it. No. Forget you. Uh, okay. Are you guys sure you have enough money to cover all of this? We sure do, Mom Bev. You just pick one out. Okay. Well, let me look and see. What are you saying? Do we look like we're made of money or something? My mom works two jobs just to put groceries on the table. So how much you got? $49.50. $49.50? Shh! Give me that! This place is like really pretty. Like that place is really pretty. Yeah. Can I have some money? Oh. Well. Will that do? Thank you very much. We're taking up a collection for Mr. Mama Bab spring replacement. Okay. So cough it up. Oh. Good. Well, all right. Is that enough? Thank you. Bye bye. What's going on? What's that little road rat doing? Uh, apparently the, the kids don't have enough money to buy Mama Bev the ring. I think this one looks like the one that I used to have. Did she see that ring there? Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. How much is it? Four hundred and fifty dollars. Four hundred and fifty dollars? It's it's too much. The kids could never afford this. It's not at all too expensive. It's all taken care of. Now let's find you a chain to put that on. What just happened? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, kids. I can hardly, hardly express what I feel. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so very much. All of the sacrifices that you've made. Thank you. I love you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wait. Did you pay for... Well, even the help needs a little help every now and then. Here we go. Girls, do you know what happened to the necklace here? Oh, we left it there on the counter. Did someone try it on? No. No. But she was looking at it. No, I wasn't. I need yeah, to know where the necklace is. Check her bag. What? Honestly, I wasn't... Here. Oh my gosh. What? Fence. Somebody should call the cops. What? 
I do not know how that got in there. Looks like someone will be trading the blue dress for orange. This episode was brought to you in part by August Stevenson Fine Jewelry and Diamonds. The best deals happen at August Stevenson. I have a big promise that you're going to love the next episode. Be sure to catch the next episode of School Bus Diaries. Be sure to subscribe to us below. I mean, I've been doing this whole comedic thing, doing all the gigs for a while now. You know, I, I kind of killed it. I mean, I've been rocking it for a long time now. But now it's it's time for me to go to the next level. And with this new TV show, I mean, it's the sky's the limit for me. I mean, when I think about the Hall of Fame of, of the comedic industry, I'm like, I see my name right there in lights. I think this is my moment. I'm ready for everybody to know who Benjamin is. Time is now. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I remember when I was about three years old and I looked at my mom and I go, Mama, what kind of shirt do you have on today? Sweetie, uh, shirt? I think you put on daddy's shirt because you're the worst smelling man I've ever seen. <laughs> And I never thought that my mom's laughter of me actually thinking she was my dad because she looked like a man when I was three. Never thought that it would be the moment where I was like, this is what I knew I was created to be. I knew that my moment of greatness was born in that moment. It was incredible. And my mom still looks like a man today still, so. Well, she's the reason why I'm successful, so as long as I'm taking care of mom, I don't think she minds at all. It's just sometimes, you know, that beard that she grows. I mean, it's kind of hard to kiss her, you know, on Mother's Day. So we just do a, you know, cheek to cheek thing. It's, it gets a little scruffy. Ugh.